It started with a step followed by a trot. We learned to gallop. Then it got mechanical. At first it was to survive. It was all about the destination, but that changed when the journey started to get fun. I'm Julian Taylor, and these are my friends, Sam and Jen. If it has a motor, we will ride it, drive it, or fly it, and compete to win. It's not always about where you go, it's how you get there. It's Jen, how you doing, darling? Good, how are you? Good. How was the travels? Great, and look at you, top of the Hilton. Very fancy, are we? Absolutely, welcome to my second city here in the US. So what are you out looking at? This is your kingdom, or? Well, look at it, <laughs> look at this. You know, this city is proud to be Cleveland. It's been revitalized over the years. You got the Brown Stadium there. The stadium's awesome. Yeah, look at that. Is it on Lake Erie? It is, this is Lake Erie. You've got the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame down there, and that way, Canada. I knew Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but I haven't spent that much time in Cleveland. The great thing about it, it's got no ego. There's oh, no ego based so in this place. So that's why you invited me and not Sam? That's exactly right. So what's on the agenda first? First is the Crawford Auto Aviation Museum. Never been there before, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what's in there. And it does link with something I've got going on tomorrow, so um, be prepared to be surprised. Always a surprise with you. Come on, then. All right, lead the way, tour guide. We've come to beautiful Cleveland, and Julian takes me to the Crawford Auto and Aviation Museum. So when I got here, I walk in the door, and Jen's lolly gaddling around. She's going nowhere. So I'm, not, I'm going on my own. That's it. I'm everywhere, because there's so much wonderful stuff to look at. We've been in the door all of two seconds, and he takes off. But I do find Julian just as he's about to step foot into a gull wing. Julian. You can't go in that oh, car. Come on. What you know what this is? Wait, my mother? This is an unbelievable <laughs> car. Do you know that? Oh, sorry. Uh, yes, we, we're very happy to have you enjoying our cars, oh, but maybe not that close. Oh, all right. John is a total history buff. He gives us a little schooling and history lesson in the automotive industry of Ohio. So many automakers were right here in Cleveland. Originally, uh, the museum was started in the 1940s. The collection started with Fred Crawford, who decided to preserve old automobiles that were slated to be scrapped. And so that was the foundation of the collection and it's continuing to grow today. We're touring around this fantastic automotive museum and Julian is showing me a rinky-dink toy sailboat. So this is what I wanted to show you. Okay. Meet Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell is the name of my first cat and this thing doesn't look much bigger than my first cat, actually. <laughs> this boat went from Plymouth, Massachusetts to Plymouth in England. Robert Manry, in 1960, from here in Cleveland, sailed this all the way to the UK. Can you believe that? And of all the beautiful rigs in this museum, you're showing me this, why? We gotta go sail Lake Erie. We're sailing Lake Erie in this thing? No, we're not taking Tinkerbell. <laughs> oh. We're gonna take a beautiful, real top-end sailboat. Now, the rule with this show, everything's gotta have a motor. It's got a diesel motor, so we can go sailing. Okay. 42-foot luxury sailing yacht. I can get on board with that. Okay, so all this is happening tomorrow. tomorrow. yeah. Okay, so what are we doing the rest of the day? Oh, come on, I've planned everything. That's your turn now. You've got to get the rest of the trip. afternoon. This is your backyard. I and brought you to Cleveland, and I got you sailing, and I brought you to a car museum. You work out this afternoon. Okay, let me let me make a few calls, and I'll see what all I can right. Let me know with. what we're doing, then. Typical Julian fashion, he planned half a trip. So now I got to go through my Rolodex, go into my phone, and figure out what we're going to do with the rest of our day. Luckily, I know people. So I've decided to take Julian and I to a beautiful metro park area called Rocky River Reservation. So, Jen, we're in Rocky River Reservation. Mm-hmm. But you know the rules of the show, it's got to have a motor. They're push bikes. You push them with your feet. Now, the rule of the show is there's got to be some power form of some sort. Electric motor, gas power, diesel. Julian might be a little thrown off thinking, these aren't bikes with motors, but they are. They're electric, they're by Giant, and they're powered by Yamaha. So these things have a motor in them. These are e-bikes. They are electric-powered motor bikes. Where's the motor? Inside this housing here, it's waterproof. It's in the midsection of the frame. So when you feel a little tired from, you know, 
all that running of your mouth, you can just put it in <laughs> e-assist and be on your way. These bikes can push 20 miles per hour. We can kick it into high gear and use the electric motor to get us anywhere we want to go. At the end of this road, if we turn right here, go to the very end, there's a river. Okay, so... Rocky River. Okay, so, so let's, I, let's I see what the, you're saying. Let's race to the river. There's always a race with you involved. All right, I'll, I'll um, take you up on that offer. Legally, do I have to wear this silly little crash hat? Yes, I absolutely. I mean, they're going to look like you with that thing on Yeah, there? look how good you can look oh, with geez. this thing. This thing's dodgy. And you're going to need it. We know how you ride, so... And what's the competition, then? Whoever well, doesn't get to the river first has to scrub the well, poop deck you... of the boat tomorrow. <laughs> when you don't get to the end of the road first, um, you can be my skipper, and I'll be the captain of your sailing vessel, right? The skipper and the captain's the same job. Oh, I don't know. See, I don't sail. <laughs> See? OK, you can be my first mate. Last one to the lake. <laughs> I guess I should give you a head start. <laughs> It was a good call by Jen to get these pair of bicycles. They really are unique. You've got your power-assisted programming. If you're down on the first level, it'll just help you gently. And when you stick it on five and you pedal really quickly and it doubles it, man, you're flying. Julian's not a big guy, but he's certainly a little bit bigger than me, so my bike will probably go a little faster than Julian's because I'll have it maxed out, pedal to the metal, so to speak. They can really haul for e-bikes. So we're riding through underneath the beautiful tree canopies, and we were going at quite a lick. In true Julian fashion, we're coming into the home stretch, and he's coming in so hot, like bread right out of the oven. I came in hot. And with those bikes, good bit of back brake. It's going to lock it up and <laughs> get it in there. Nearly ended up going just into the river, but I stopped it just in time. <laughs> That was brilliant. That was great. A hawk just flew right over my head as we were cruising through. That was incredible. I have to say, I never thought an electric bike would handle and perform like this thing does. It's awesome. My battery's still pretty full, and we've been cruising for a while. I've only lost one bar. Hmm, so that means you haven't been using it all that much. So pretty good. It's just natural, you know? <laughs> what did you call them? Chevy legs or something? <laughs> yeah, Chevrolet legs. That's Chevrolet right. Chevrolet legs. Right. I'll tell you what, though. After all of this exercise, I could kill for a beer. Oh, I could do you one better. I have a little something up my sleeve. Julian wants a cold one. I can do one better than that. I'm delivering up a little surprise, but he's going to have to work for it. All right, here all we right. are. OK, OK, OK. Oh, it's a bar. I was going to have a beer anyway after all that cycling. So yeah, great, it's a bar. No, it's much more than a bar. What? Why is it much more than a bar? It's a bar. I'm going to need you to follow me this way. I've got much more in store for you. Really? Yeah. OK, I like surprises. I'm going to put you to work. Now, I let Julian in on a little surprise that I had in store for him. We're here at the brew kettle. He thinks it's just another brewery, another ordinary day. But this is way more than just an ordinary beer experience. Here, you get to brew your own. Chris, hey, how Jen, are how are you? you? Good. Nice seeing you. Thanks wow. for squeezing oh, us in. Not a problem at all. So typically, we're three to six months out to get a session, but Jen called, and she wanted to surprise Julian on this experience, so we worked some things on, and we got him in to enjoy. So this is the brew kettle. Uh, it's 25 years old this year, right. where you can actually brew your own beer. So that's what we do here, you brew your own beer. Yep, correct. All you need to do is get suited up. OK, cool. Great. Here's right, some uniforms. Thanks. OK. Thank you. I like it already, except for uh, mine's this one's a little, little bit small. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's get on with this thing. So the brew kettle is 25 years old. It's one of the oldest breweries in Cleveland. So when you're in Cleveland, you want to come out and try your own beer. You want to have some great smokehouse food. This is the place to be. There you go. All done. Wow, you guys look great. Thanks. We certainly dressed the part. Now we're ready to make our own brew. We're ready to be brewmasters, aren't yeah. we? That's it. We have two perfect beers for you. So the lager is called Big Woody, and the IPA is Sit Your Ass Down. Oh, that one's <laughs> perfect for you. So let me introduce you to our head brewmaster. Let's do it. Hey, Jack, I have a couple brewers for you. Jack, Julian Taylor. Nice, nice to meet you, mate. Hi, nice Jen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So I got the recipes right here. Excellent. We're going to go into the room across the way right. and pull our ingredients. We start the process by taking the customer into the grain room to weigh out the grains for the brew. These are put into muslin bags and put into their kettle, which has water heated to anywhere from 140 to 150 degrees. Then the hops are weighed out. They have a recipe that they have to follow where they have to increase the boil, they have to add their ingredients throughout the process, and at the very end of it, bottle their beer themselves. 
I'm not sure who I showed up with because whoever was brewing beer next to me was like laser focused. He had his glasses out. These guys don't understand the depth of Julian Taylor. What am I gonna focus on more than anything else apart from driving a car maybe is beer. And I get the chance today to actually create my own beer. So what happens next? Well, your beer's gonna take about two to four weeks to get done. We'll take care of it from here. You can come back and bottle. You can create your own label. But for now, we have something special for you. <laughs> your own custom labels, even. Oh, my gosh. Look, look at this. this. Oh, that's fantastic. And check this out. Look at that excited <laughs> look at that. face. That's from Bondurant. Yeah, I was going to say, that's you in the car in Bondurant. I think this one is going to fly off the shelves. You know, I am 100% confident that if you put those two beers side by side, my brew would outsell his hands down. How'd you like it? Oh, fantastic experience. It really was great. Got stuck in, got dirty, loved it. Yeah, it was so much fun, and it's an incredible experience that I've never done before, but you, you were really into it. He had all of his hops and his ingredients and his measuring cup. He really didn't want to screw up his Oh, brain. yeah, I want the beer to be perfect. It's got to be done right, and obviously that's the whole point of this. So Jen hooked us up. I'll give her that. We got those electric bikes, and now that she brings us here, that's fantastic. It has just been this once-in-a-lifetime experience. I mean, what better way? To to end a perfect day here at the Brew Kettle. So here we are at Riverfront Yachts in Cleveland on the Cuyahoga River. And the boat is not 13 and a half foot. Oh, thank goodness. They're already looking bigger than Tinkerbell, which I feel a lot better about. <laughs> Absolutely. This is a 42-foot Beneteau. This is a beautiful sailboat. Great. I can't wait to uh, go sailing for the first time, but I've got one little surprise for you. What's that? Well, I brought myself a little something-something. My captain's hat, and I brought you a little... That's a first mate hat. So Jen lost the bet yesterday with our electric-powered push bikes, and she thinks she can give me a hat that's a secondary little sailor hat. Not happening. I'm the captain today. Good hey morning. morning. How, How you doing, are we? Mate? How you doing? Good. Nice to meet Hi you. Hey, Jim Barlow. Great to meet you. Yeah, we're going to go out for a sail today, huh? Robert, a great friend of mine, is going to take us out today onto Lake Erie. We want to see Cleveland as it's meant to be seen from the water. And the best thing about this, it's a Beneteau 42. It is one beautiful cruising sailboat. I'm excited because I've actually never been sailing before. Well, you don't have to worry today at all because Rob's the expert and he's going to tell us what to do. You'll be cranking winches, you'll be learning sail trim, you're going to be doing the job, don't worry. There's no sitting around on a sailboat. You've got work to do. You don't just sit there, put your feet up and hold a beer, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's been the extent of my sailing experience. Cocktail in hand, enjoying the view. So put me to work. I'm ready. We're going to leave here at our facility here on the Cuyahoga River, and we're going to go downstream to uh, the Cleveland Lake front and out along the Cleveland Lake shore, and then come back in and visit downtown Cleveland. We're heading down the river and beyond the beautiful bridges that seem like they've stood the test of time. We are seeing a lot of greenery. We have kayakers going by. We have different restaurants that are waterside. It's really, really spectacular down here on the riverside. So we're coming out to the estuary now. We're actually going to go past the break wall into Lake Erie. And that's when we can put up the sail, we can put the jib up, we can actually get the main flying. So we can shut the motor off and we can use nature to Woo! see Cleveland. So anyways, the free ride is over, all right? <laughs> and now you're going to get to work, OK? OK. I'm going to make Jen do the steering part. You're going to help me with the main and yeah. grinding it open. Yeah. And we make a choice of who's the best sailor out here, OK? That sounds like a plan right? to me. Yeah, that sounds and like a challenge. at that point, they get to wear the captain's hat. We are being put to work, and Julian is a worker bee, and I'm the queen bee. I take the helm. I'm captain of the ship. Jen straight away got picked to steer the boat, which is fine. That's not my gig. So I straight away go and start grinding. Little did I know I was grinding the whole damn boat. Jenna, how are you doing over there? I'm doing really great. Thanks for asking. What Feeling good. What do you mean, good? how's she doing over all... I'm doing all the hard work. She's just using the steering wheel. 
Well, yeah, but she's driving the boat. That's the most important part. <laughs> so anyway, we're sailing along here, but this is actually motor sailing. So motor sail is, is definitely way within the realms of our show. That's the whole idea, always uh -huh. having a motor. But the thing is with sailing, you gotta shut that motor off and actually use nature to get to wherever you wanna go to. I love sailing, yeah. and we don't like to hear the motor running anyway, so we're out here for the peace and quiet and enjoy Mother Nature. So to shut the motor off, I'm gonna let you do it. Stopping that and motor. And then it's gonna buzz her. And on the off. Nice and quiet. I don't think I've ever seen Julian willingly turn off a motor before. Nature is a call now. This is the perfect way to sail. We had a very sporadic wind. One minute we'd have a little bit coming in, it would push us up to, I think we saw four knots at the most, and then we'd be in a hole and there'd be nothing there whatsoever. Sailboats can go fast and be extremely exhilarating when you've got the right wind. Nine, ten knots, easily. Oh yeah, I'll just bring the wind. That sounds like an easy job. If you're in control of this boat, get me some wind, woman. Rob then suggests Odin who is a Viking god, can bring us wind. They want me to perform this old Viking ritual of scratching the mast and calling out and asking for wind. Odin, Odin, send us a sea breeze, please. There is no wind. Give it a second. I mean, it's been a millisecond. So much for you talking to the Viking gods, Odin. OK, you just go pout at the bow just you wait. I'm going to go back to the helm, and speed is coming. There's nothing happening. We're still stuck in this hole. There is no ripples at all on the top of the water of Lake Erie. We called out to the god Odin of wind, and he definitely did not answer. Flying. We haven't got any wind. I've been sitting here for half an hour, it feels like. Where's the Odin god with the wind? Odin did not answer our wind call, so I had to take matters into my own hand and come up with a backup plan. All right, so I've got an idea to shut him up. What's that? You want to hit the motor? You want to sure. hit the engine on? Yeah, wouldn't mind at all. All of a sudden, the boat starts moving. It starts moving quickly. Why do I think there's something fishy here? Here's your wind, Julian. You just turned the motor on. I can feel a vibration and we're starting to move. And it's not you and your Odin, buddy. I can tell you that now. You're cheating. He asked for wind. We're going to give him power, which will create the wind. Odin showed up just in a new, mysterious way. So the original plan was we were going to use the motor only to get out of the Cuyahoga River. That didn't work. We ran out there. There wasn't any. And her praying to Odin didn't work. And we need to get to where we're going. We had to go back to the motor. We are now officially on Lake Erie at the actual water side. Sailing it and seeing it from a different angle. I love it. The great thing about the boat is we're seeing everything that we saw yesterday, but from now the water side. It was really cool, to be honest, to be able to see the Brown Stadium from that side, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame that side. It really was a beautiful sight. I'm glad we saw both sides of the road. Well, Jen, Julian, we've reached the end of our cruise. So what do you guys think about today? The view to the city from the middle of Lake Erie, fantastic. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Honestly, beautiful day. Got to go out sailing with you. You were an excellent teacher. You guys both did great. And I have to make a tough decision now. I have the goddess who called for the win, <laughs> and I got you cranking. She drove the boat. You crank. But she called for the wind, and the wind was a diesel engine. It wasn't actually wind. Well, you know, I actually started the engine for Jen. Did she give you the instructions as the captain, though? Well, she said, what can we do to shut you up? So I did start it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, point taken. All right. So because I'm a little biased, Jen gets oh, the uh, captain's yeah. award. You become the mate. <laughs> oh, man, I'm getting fleeces. I'm getting Stupid upgraded. Little rat. Just as I was the brewmaster in training, I was the captain in training. I'm really not surprised that Captain Rob presented me with the hat of achievement. That's what I'm going to call it. Well, I want to thank you immensely for all of your hospitality today. And I think that you did a really good job of showing us Cleveland and showing us Lake Erie. Thank you very much. Jen, this is our last stop. Let's close out Cleveland and go home. All right, thanks for everything. It's Thanks been, for that. It's been so Appreciate nice. It. You guys take care. Be yeah. well. All the best. See you later. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Safe seas to you. Hey, yeah. Well, hey there, mate. You cannot finish a Cleveland trip without coming 
to the Cleveland sign. So the last stop I make with Jen is the Cleveland sign. Everybody that comes to Cleveland has got to get a photograph at the Cleveland sign. You've got to do it. And believe you me, there was people waiting in queues to do it. Well, it has been an exceptional trip. I have to say, you bringing me here to Cleveland, although not a thorough itinerary, it was a lot of fun from the museum, to motor sailing on this beautiful yacht. I mean, what an exceptional time. I have to say, deliberately leaving those holes to be plugged in by you was the right thing to do. To be able to ride those push bikes with the Yamaha motors in them and then making my own beer, well, that was absolutely heaven. I know, I absolutely love this trip. And you know, we got to see Cleveland from the top, the rooftop at the Hilton, and then out there sailing, beautiful Lake Erie, looking back at the city. Phenomenal experience. Yeah, I've never seen a city look so beautiful from the, the lake. It really was fantastic. And the weather was perfect with us for the whole, whole trip. So I have to say, are you ready to sit your ass down now? I absolutely am. And remember, it's not always about the destination, it's, it's how, how you, you get, get there. there. Are you ready to eat and drink now? Can we get out of here? Yes. Come on, let's go do it. my name. So all in all, I had a fantastic trip. I think Jen had a really good trip. She got to see Cleveland in a real light in a beautiful summer. You have the water, you have the boating, the sailing, you have beautiful downtown area. I think what I loved most about Cleveland is the fact that this city really brings out the best in people and I had a blast. <laughs>